I had been waiting to hear, and they had said to call, and I called that morning, and they weren't ready, call back in an hour, not ready. This went on all day, and I was trying to get it, get the information before I was picking up my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and I just got on the grounds of her elementary school, and my phone rang, and the doctor said, do you have a, a nice, quiet place to talk? And I was on the playground. And yeah. I said, well, this is as good as it gets. He told you over the phone? Over the phone. And, wow. um, and he said, I'm sorry, you have breast cancer. And then I just sort of stopped listening. And I remember everything about the moment, the breeze, the temperature, the wow. birds, the kids. And he started to tell me. And I said, you know, I stopped him. I said, I'm sorry, am I going to live? And hmm. he goes, I can't answer that question. And I said, OK. And he started talking more. And I was still standing there. Were you able to? that moment or were you so outside of I was that? it's pretty outside of mm -hmm. myself and um, and I said wait hold on a second I need you to answer that question like I want you to think if I'm somebody that you love and you have my their results in your hand and they asked you what would you tell them 